Breitling 1884 Instruments for Professionals. I'm just so proud when I look at this signature. Proud to see that the small workshop I founded 125 years ago in Saint-Imier has become one of the greatest Swiss watch brands. Proud to see that this brand, named after me, has remained faithful to the philosophy, the vocation, and the spirit that I wished to impart. My passion was precision. I didn't want to make watches merely serving to record the time. Instead, my aim was to make measuring instruments for science, sport, and industry, chronographs and timers. In 1892, I set up my factory in La chaux de Fonds in the beautiful Montbriant building. Breitling soon made a name for itself with its broad range of products intended for all kinds of professional and private users. As for me, through my inventions and patents, I always look to improve the reliability, performance, and functionality of these various instruments. In 1914, my son Gaston took over the company. Wristwatches were beginning to make their breakthrough by then, and Breitling was one of the first firms to offer a wrist-worn chronograph. What's more, Gaston had the extremely ingenious idea, dare I say, like father, like son, of creating a push piece independent from the crown and able to handle all three chronograph functions, start, stop, and reset. That's how we invented the first chronograph push piece back in 1915. In 1923, Gaston perfected this system by separating the start and stop functions from resetting. The push piece controlled the starting and stopping, and the crown the resetting. This patented innovation was a decisive step forward, making it possible to perform several timing operations in a row without having to reset the hands, and thus to add up several successive times. In 1934, my grandson Willie completed the process of giving the wrist chronograph its modern face. He created the second independent push piece at four o'clock. This invention was soon picked up by all our competitors. Willie also put his name in the chronograph history books by launching the first self-winding chronograph movement in 1969, the famous Caliber 11. This innovation was highlighted in the famous Chronomatic Collection. Aviation pioneers, all the heroes whose feats I so admired, needed reliable and accurate instruments. They soon came to trust our pocket chronographs and then our wrist-worn chronographs. In the 1930s, Breitling even found its way into aircraft cockpits by developing a whole range of onboard chronographs. That was how we earned the title of Official Supplier to World Aviation. And the famous Navitimer, created in 1952 with its circular slide rule, has long since become a firm favorite with pilots and aeronautical enthusiasts. In taking over Breitling in 1979, Ernest Schneider managed to hold true to the course set by his predecessors. He kept our brand in the forefront of technology and design. Breitling asserted itself more than ever as the mechanical chronograph specialist, most notably by creating the famous chronomat. But we also gained a leading position in the field of electronic watches, with models such as the Aerospace, the Emergency, and the B1. To guarantee the quality of its instruments for professionals, Breitling made another decisive move in 1999. We are now the world's only major watch brand to submit all our movements, both mechanical and quartz, to the stringent test procedures of the Swiss Official Chronometer Testing Institute, 
the famous COSC, the ultimate certification of reliability and precision. This incredible challenge forced Breitling to entirely reorganize its production and its testing on all levels. It involved substantial investments, including the construction of the ultra-modern Breitling Chronometry Complex in my cherished native town of La chaux de -Fonds. Through five generations, Breitling has placed consistent emphasis on maintaining its independence. Currently headed by Theodore Schneider, it is one of the rare large Swiss watch brands that is still a family business. Being independent allows us to define and apply our own quality criteria. It enables us to follow our own path, our passion, our vocation, without external pressure and restrictions. To guarantee this long-term independence, Breitling has just passed another crucial milestone in its long and beautiful history. And I certainly believe I will have plenty more reasons to be proud. <laughs>